Well, let's move on to something. This is a much more serious topic. It's about a drug that can potentially be very dangerous if it gets into the wrong hands, but could it help another dangerous condition? Ketamine, a hallucinogen commonly known in the drug scene as Special K, was originally designed as an anesthetic drug used in surgery on both humans and animals. But this drug, if used recreationally and without medical supervision, can have serious negative side effects, which could include blurred vision, confusion, increased or decreased blood pressure, mental or mood changes, and even death. However, researchers have now discovered that ketamine, if used under medical supervision and with the proper dosage, can produce very quick relief for severe depression, acting in just hours rather than the typical four to six weeks. Scientists hope to soon begin testing its long-term effects. And we haven't talked much about ketamine on the show. I wanna compare it to a medicine that you all are familiar with, propofol. We talked about propofol, which was the medicine that killed Michael Jackson or reportedly killed Michael Jackson. Ketamine is used in very similar circumstances mm -hmm. in the hospital, in the emergency department. It is a medicine that is given, it's a dissociative medicine. If you're gonna do a painful procedure, you give it to a patient through an IV and they have no memory of what happened. And on the street, it's obviously used for different, right. for different things because it has a hallucinogenic effect. Um, it's dangerous because it could potentially be used as, as a, a date rape drug, amongst mm -hmm. other things. This is interesting, using it as, as a possible fix for depression. I yeah, it's kind well, of quick, never thought you know, of it that way. I use it a lot on the outpatient surgical basis, right. and I've seen patients do all sorts of crazy mm -hmm. stuff going under on this stuff mm -hmm. during and after. But like you said, they don't remember any of it, but some of the things they say and they say they're seeing, it's a pretty wild drug. Well, they're saying they're, they're trying to use it maybe for a really acute suicidal depression, not just mm -hmm. kind of, you know, yeah. run-of-the-mill depression, but people who come into the ER who are suicidal because they're so depressed, they think it may have some type of temporary relief, but I don't yeah. think people are mm -hmm. proposing sort of, that it's sort be of like a reset button. Kind of. Like well, it gives, it gives you your, that, your brain such a jolt, sure, almost if, like shock you know, therapy. The traditional antidepressants take so long to kick in, yeah. then what do you do during that couple of weeks while you're waiting to feel better? And this works on a different, you know, antidepressants work on neurotransmitters, mm -hmm. and most of them work on serotonin. These are chemicals in your brains. This works on glutamate, so it's a whole different, different kind of yeah. uh, physiology here. And we do have joining us now via Polycom, someone who can help us shed more light on this topic. It's the clinical professor of psychiatry at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, Dr. Ken Robbins. Thank you, Dr. Robbins, for joining us. <laughs> you know, depression can be such a difficult thing, not only to diagnose, but to treat. What has been your experience with ketamine at this stage? I think it's one of the more exciting breakthroughs we've seen in psychiatry in a very long time. Uh, what's amazing about ketamine is it seems to work uh, sometime between 40 minutes and two hours as opposed to the month or two that we generally wait wow. for antidepressants. Uh, the risk of side effects is not small. However, in the studies that have been done, you know, we know that about 20 to 30 percent of people who have depression, and this is a very severe illness, will not get better with the treatments that are currently available. And ketamine is successfully treating in the early studies about 70% of them. Now, unfortunately, it only lasts for a week or two, but if for a week or two, they feel a dramatic improvement. There's also an effect of ketamine on improving the growth of brain cells, which also looks uh, very interesting. And I want to emphasize to everyone at home, this is still in the stage of testing, and we're talking about a controlled clinical environment. Special K, the street name of this drug, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. This is not something you should ever, ever, ever try at home. It is illegal, it's a class C drug. Dr. Robbins, we, we thank you for joining us, and sounds like there's some hope here, and, yeah. mm -hmm. and maybe, maybe <clears throat> this is another- Yeah, it's very treatment. exciting. Thank you so very much.